What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master back here on this Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. It is about 11.10 a.m. here along the West Coast in the state of California. Uh, latest earthquake looks like a 1.5 into the Alaska region, way up north. Also, we did see quite a bit of activity ramping up here around our watch zone around the Indonesia area. We were waiting for uh, some of this movement and uh, momentum to make its way around the Java Trench area. And it looks like that's finally taken place with a 6.1 earthquake being reported by the EMSC. Now, the USGS is reporting this as a 5.8 into the area it has been reviewed by a seismologist from the usgs uh, so that's why it got downgraded here slightly from a 6.1 emsc holding steady at a 6.1 magnitude but that is prior to any of these parameters being reviewed by a professional so a little bit of activity definitely kicking up here across the uh, java trench region we're again waiting for this to uh make its way through the area with that uh, pressure momentum definitely kicked off in a big way here with that 6.1 working its way westward currently as we speak just off the coast here of sumatra uh, so we'll continue to watch this for some uh, possible further activity within the vicinity of the java trench has been quite active here uh, over the last couple days but if you notice remember we had that haltage uh, so to speak here of earthquake activity pretty much like a brick wall we were watching all this uh, earthquake movement build up back building here along the western pacific and adjacent plates uh, with no forward migration of momentum here of the earthquake activity along this plate boundary but uh, it kind of looks like we broke through that barrier so to speak so we'll continue to watch that uh, for uh, some potential further large-scale movement throughout the day today uh, latest earthquake activity up here in the Taiwan area looks like a 4.9 from early this morning, about 4 o'clock. All this other activity from yesterday and nothing really going on up here around the Kurokamachaka or the Japan Trench. Uh, and that rings true here with the EMSC model globe as well. So continuing to watch that region. It's going to eventually kick up a little bit of activity. Uh, 2.8 coming in right now into the Australia area. That, uh, let's go ahead and scoot down here. Nothing showing up here from the USGS. But um, let me see what the EMSC is stating on this earthquake. Western Australia, five kilometers deep, looks like. Um, interactive map shows the specific location here of that earthquake. Uh, not for sure if anybody felt it out here. Not, not even 100% certain what's out here. But... Uh, doesn't look like any large population, so probably not felt. But either way, a little bit of earthquake activity kicking up out here in this area of New Zealand. Uh, let's check out the GeoNet servers while we're down here and um, see, what's see what's going on here. Of course, we did have some activity down south there near the uh, Milford Sound area of South Island yesterday. Latest magnitudes here showing all the uh, earthquakes even the smaller ones uh, across New Zealand. Uh, not seeing anything major blasting off here in the area. A couple deleted events. Uh, but over the last few hours, it looks like things have been very small on the uh, magnitude scale. Uh, real quick glance here at the earthquake drums. See what we got going on here. Uh, there is that four-pointer from last night showing up mostly on the... Uh, South Island, New Zealand stations here. This can be that darker color line. Looks like there was a, looks like there was another earthquake down here, a little bit smaller. I think that was that 2.7 or a three pointer, uh, very close to the uh, area where we seen that four pointer last night. So slight activity, slight uptick here across New Zealand, uh, including that 2.8 over here in Australia. We'll continue to watch this area for some further earthquake movement now that we kind of uh you know made that uh, pressure migration here uh eventually this plate will continue to catch up and uh, add more strain meaning the pacific and the australia plate Let's see if i can bring up uh oh, i don't have it keyed up so i'll have to bring that up uh let's see here bring up the geonet uh, or the uh emsc model globe here oh yeah there's that 3.1 that's a secondary quake. 
Uh, let's see. Hawaii. What do we got going on out here? Anything major going on? Doesn't look like it. Uh, mostly some smaller quakes there around the big island and the Kilauea volcano. Uh, glance here at the hazard notification system because Kilauea volcano, I think, is getting really close here again uh, to having a little eruption. The daily update put out yesterday um, still shows that it's not erupting. No lava has been observed. Uh, looks like, you know, their mention of some small earthquakes have occurred occasionally there beneath the crater, but uh, currently not erupting on the big island, but uh, we'll continue to watch that. I think that's uh, getting close here with this earthquake movement that we've seen over the past few days. Up north here into the Alaska area, got a little trail of earthquake activity across the Aleutian Trench today. Um, and that is following yesterday's deeper movement. Notice that uh, 4.7 coming in this time yesterday, literally just one minute this time yesterday. Um, we've seen that 4.7, 173 kilometers deep today, followed up by a little bit of shallower earthquake activity directly upstream, folks. This is very typical of subduction zone quakes, deeper movement, triggering triggering uh, earthquakes upstream where the added stress is accumulating. And that's very typical along any uh, major subduction zone. Let's see here the coast or the uh, Pacific Northwest. Uh, let's see if we got anything new popping up here. Most of this activity from yesterday. We're still watching that 3.2 off the coast here of Oregon, just shy of the Cascadia subduction zone. The tremor map from last night still showing uh, some elevated tremor. The uh, uh, This is from yesterday, 623 epicenters of tremor. Adding on to the spike here on the graph, we should be... Uh, we should be peaking out here pretty soon in the next day or so. We'll see what today's look like uh, as far as the trimmer count goes, which will be put out much later uh, towards this evening time period. And that is Cascadia trimmer uh, taking place there into the subduction zone. Uh, one earthquake way off the coast here of Northern California, kind of an oddball earthquake, 3.4 out into the, um, well, the oceanic crust out here well away from the plate boundary. Let's see if this has been reviewed. It has been reviewed, so this is a little odd one. We don't see too much earthquake activity out here uh, away from the plate boundary like this, specifically in this area. Uh, so kind of odd. Uh, the rest of California, a little spotty activity across the Sierra Nevada. Bay Area fairly quiet today. I don't think we're seeing anything above or, uh, yeah, nothing really above the 2.5. One little earthquake here yesterday on the San Andreas Fault. But uh, for the most part, very small microquake activity here today as we look at the state of California. Uh, into the Washington or the uh, Wyoming area, things look pretty quiet. So let's double check, make sure. Through the Yellowstone overviews. And... Um, doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on there. I was watching this last night. Some of these spiker, spikier um, signals here on the graph indicating maybe some small earthquake activity, maybe some ice quakes as well. Um, sometimes that does occur up there in the winter when there's snow all over the seismograph stations there. It doesn't look like it's showing up though broadly across any other station. So very localized, whatever that may be. All right, uh, rest of the country here, folks. Not a whole lot going on. Middle America Trench and the Caribbean Plate looks pretty minimal, fairly minimal on the uh, USGS graph. We do have a 4.1, pretty recent earthquake here into a portion of the Middle America Trench here. Not showing up on the USGS graph. And um, see what we got going on here. Some further activity out into the uh, fracture zones. Looks like a 4.9. Here into the uh, close to the Chile Fracture area, south of Easter Island. Wouldn't that be cool to see out there? You see it all over the place. You see it in history books. You see it on TV, videos. But I think it would be really cool to go out there and, and visit this area firsthand. I'm not even joking. Who's coming along with me? Anybody want to go, go check this out? I mean, it's crazy to look at this. Even just a satellite view. Sometimes I'll go through Google Earth and just explore all these you know, beautiful places, but I would love to experience this uh, firsthand. I think that would be uh, spectacular. All right, uh, 
let's get out of here get off of uh dreaming here either way uh divergent boundary this little fracture zone should be adding further strain here uh, a lot of times we'll we will see that when there's activity offshore here into these um, certain fracture zones it adds further strain out here along the chilly area and uh, for now though a couple twos out here some threes we'll watch this for some potential further movement all right uh what else do we have here guys typical movement around the mediterranean and the turkey area continuing to show aftershock activity nothing going on across the atlantic ocean here according to uh, any of these agencies all right our other big weather or space weather event is an incoming g2 storm looks like around the 23rd to 24th time period we're expecting a pretty strong geomagnetic storm from a full halo cme that was earth directed here uh yesterday pretty significant uh uh, feature here this is looking directly at that filament eruption notice the full halo cme this thing is pointed right at us uh, so that will be a, a nice little enhancement there for the sky watchers um, on the 23rd we'll get the exact time here in a second it looks like the g2 storm watch will be uh, late april 23rd into the 24th uh, with this type of setup here should get a nice glancing blow notice that uh cme right there the brunt of it kind of hitting this area uh gonna be pretty cool it's gonna be almost a almost a um a bullseye shot so to speak so we'll watch that here nothing uh, major expected just some higher uh uh altitude or not altitude but uh uh what's the word i'm looking for latitude there we go higher latitudes uh should get a nice show also uh, possibly down into the middle latitudes uh with a 45 percent chance of seeing that we'll check back on that a little bit later tonight uh once we get closer this hasn't even been updated yet on their end um yeah doesn't look like kevin's updated any portion of this but uh, either way, yeah, that's going to be awesome. That came from a, uh, a beautiful filament eruption here that was Earth-facing from the sunspot area. And uh, it did produce a, a fairly long-duration M-flare as well. So what do we got now? Anything else going on uh, while we wait for that incoming CME? Uh, a little bit of uh, sea flare activity, it looks like, since that event yesterday. And a uh, quick glance here at the sunspots and their magnetic structure that sunspot that produced the m flare and the subsequent cme now shifting further to the southwestern portion of the sun uh, this sunspot up here is gaining some strength notice the uh, intensity of the colors but it is starting to uh, drift off there on the western in western limb of the sun uh, drifting away from us and what's coming around the bend well <clears throat> Only, a, only one sunspot here of potential, it looks like. This area right here will continue to watch for maybe a, a flare or two as it uh, uh, rotates in the view. 95% chance for a C flare, M flare at 30, and the X flare at 1% chance. But uh, yeah, kind of can't wait for this. Uh, see what happens as we get closer to this time period. We'll cover that a little bit more later tonight as uh, maybe we'll get a little bit more information on that but uh, either way look for that uh in the coming nights for some auroras all right folks have a good one um live stream is up and running it went down officially officially suspiciously uh early this morning uh this would make it two days in a row that it's done this we don't have any bad weather out here in california no high winds no unusual activity i paid my internet bill um you know it's just fishy when it does that uh two days in a row like that early in the morning uh sometimes the stream will stay up for months at a time no issues and then sometimes it'll be back to back to back to back to back issues with the stream suspiciously going down by itself i'm not pulling the plug um it's nothing on my end it's just it's weird somewhere between here and there in the twilight zone somebody doesn't want me uh uh streaming for some reason but that's okay 
uh, because it's just gonna uh, just come back up you know bring bring the channel down we're just gonna come right back up all right folks stay alert today uh, we will catch you guys back here a little bit later on this evening. It's supposed to be 88 degrees here where I live, close to 90. I think it's going to be one of our warmest days of the year so far. And uh, yeah, I might go outside and do some more yard work. I don't know. Getting up there, though, on the temperature. Have a good one, folks. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on. Peace out.